Hi, it's Loretta. Thanks for coming. Let's begin today's session with, um, let's begin by learning a new breath. And the breath is, it's like the sound of a seashell. And so you breathe in and you breathe out like a conch. Out through your mouth and pass through your nose, it's like you're breathing into a seashell or a seashell is the sound of the seashell comes from you. Couple more like that. I'm hoping you can feel the difference. It's like it's in the back of your throat, like Darth Vader noise. Luke, I am your father. <sighs> Just kidding, but that is the real breath and it comes in handy. That breath particularly comes in handy when we're bent over and we're keeping things within ourselves, that breath resources, how we breathe so much easier. So I'll show it to you today as we go through things. Let's take uh, one more deep breath and blow it out and let it out of our mouth and make sure we get rid of all of it. And then let's chant the sound of Om to begin our practice today. So here we go. Um. Now sit on the edge of your chair with your knees and your ankles, hips width apart, and let's begin with our arms. Bring them up, bring them down, bring them up. Bring them down. Take a few more of these. When we begin to move our arms, we're starting to include our heart and our, our lungs and our back, all in accordance with all of it. So one more up and down. And let's say out and in, out and in. Take a few more of these. One more. Out and in. And let's move along, dropping our shoulders. Let's go to our shoulders. Let's begin by doing some shoulder rolls. So, oh, big rolls. Really feel them. Really start to open up the shoulders. Do two more. Last one, here we go. And then turn around and go the opposite way, still rolling the shoulders. Oh, and you feel a whole different opening. Uh, two more. And before we move on up into our neck, let's bring our arms up and bring our hands to our opposite elbows and take our tricep stretch. Bring our heads between, our ears between our arms, sitting up as straight as we can and take a deep breath here. One more. And go ahead and let that go. And let's come on up to our neck. Let's take a few in infinity circles, testing out how our neck is feeling today. Do you hear any clicking or any kind of mushy sound when you do this? I hope not. But if you do, this is the right place to be because we're gonna work the neck. Come on back to center and shake your head no, gently. No, 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 no. Now, if at any time you wanna close your eyes, that really works for me because yoga is something that you bring yourself into yourself. So if you wanna close your eyes for these nods, go ahead. And when you feel like you need to open them, feel free to do that too. And come on back into the center and let's begin with our yeses. 
deep knots. Now let's make them deeper. Bring them up and bring them down gently. And come on back to center. And let's take a neck roll where you go all the way around. Now be really, really gentle with yourself. This um, going backwards especially, but your neck is tender and subject to injury. So be sure when you do these, that you do them mindfully, but know that these are the best things you can do for your neck and come on to the back and go the opposite direction. Bring it down gently and around. Make sure it's ever so gentle though. You don't want anything happening to the neck. Let's take one more. Bring it to the back, come back to center. Take a couple of infinity circles. Does your neck feel loose? I think so. And then let's move on. Let's begin with our cat cow. So here we are sitting on the edge of our chair with our knees pointed forward, our hands on our knees, and we're gonna begin in the cat where we bring it all together, drop our head, drop our shoulders, round them completely out like a Halloween cat, and then come on up into the cow, pushing your rear end backwards and take a few cycles of this. Take it at any pace that works for you. Just remember to try to coordinate your breath. Inhale, exhale. And if you make them juicy, it works with the inhale and exhale really easily. Let's take two more. Go all the way back and extend everything. And here we come back to the center. And then gently bring your hands side to side, starting to acknowledge your body and touching your side and your kidneys and your back. And then bring it to the front, drop one hand on your knee, put the other hand behind you. And we're going to take some spinal twists. We'll do three of them. We'll take deep inhales and exhales for each one. And as we do them, we're rotating from our torso, our mid torso, not our neck, not our head, not our knees, we're not gonna pull ourselves, we're gonna really try. Um, and here's a way that I like, what keeps my head still anyway, is I find a focus point and that's a Drewski. And find that focus point and keep your eyes looking at that through each of these breaths and hold your head. Your head can turn, but not much because your eyes are watching that one focus point. So let's begin, deep breath in, and turn. One more in. And turn. One more. Keeping your focus on, eyes open. And come on back around. And let's do the other side. Hand down. Now here's a way that you can also make sure you're not pulling your knee. That is to bring your fingers bring your fingertips to your knee instead of the full cap, and that prevents you from pulling. So let's take a deep breath in and turn. Keep your drishki point. Turn from the torso. One more. Your spine loves these. And come on back around to the front. And because we're kind of going in a circular motion, let's go ahead and take our, our goddess circle. So we're gonna come, the goddess circle starts in the back, comes to the side, to the front, to the side, to the back, done with your chest and your ribs, not your other parts of your body. So take a couple in one direction or a few in one direction and feel it release your waist. That's where I feel it the most. Come on back to the back and go the opposite way and make the full circle. Come to the side, to the back, to the side, to the front. Take a couple more here. One more, last one. And come on back to the center. 
And let's go ahead and do our side bends. So these are our intense stretches for the sides. Take one hand, put it on the side of your chair, lift your other hand straight up, put your arm and your ear in alignment, make sure your feet are hips width apart, and that your back is very straight, and that you feel your energy. This is important, feel your energy from the tip of your fingers all the way down through your toes. And take a deep breath in and bend. And take three deep breaths here. Keeping your heart open, your chest wide open. Your head can be tucked underneath your arm. And let's take one more deep breath here. And feel that side panel of energy opening up. And come on back up. And what we're doing is we're inviting our sides to play with us now. Bring your other hand back. Bring this arm up. Feel that panel of energy. Go ahead. Energy can be felt. I know you can do it. Raise your hands. Take a deep breath in. And bend. And take three more good breaths here. Look out under your arm. Open your chest and heart. One more deep breath. And then if you're ready, come on back up and come to the center. And while we're sitting here and we're on the edge of our chair, let's take our fists and ball them up and put them in back of us. Now, what I want us to do now is I'd like us to take, oh, a few, however you're comfortable with, let's begin with a few pelvic tilts. Now, you don't have to come off the chair for the beginning, but by the end, I'd like you to consider lifting yourself up off the chair by pushing on your, push, pushing on your knuckles and raising yourself up. But you can begin by gently just moving your hips forward and back. It's like a, a nice, um, like this, a tilt, a tilt. And you can do it by opening, and squeeze, opening and squeezing. It's like those exercises that the doctor would give you after you had babies. That's how it begins anyway. Just a nice gentle tilting. You don't even have to raise. And then if you can, take three, raising them gently. It doesn't have to be far. Just gently get used to raising your hips up, using your arms and the rest of your body. I'm gonna take one more. And then if you're good at that, which some of you really are, let's go ahead and take our bridge and come over. Lift yourself all the way up, breathe deeply. Drop your head to the back. And then gently bring yourself back down. And get even in your seat. Go ahead and rotate and just kind of get your hips straight. And then what I'd like you to do is I'd like us to take this movement with our legs, up, out, up, and down. And we're gonna take five on each leg. See how I'm doing them up and down. So, but let's take them one leg at a time. I'll begin with your right. Up, down, in, and out. Up, down, in, and out. I'm gonna take two more. Last one on this side. And then let's do the other leg. Up, out, back, and down. Let's take one more after this. Here we go, one more. And now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to take a different move. I'd like you to say out, over, out, and down. Now, if you have trouble bringing your leg up to your knee, go ahead and take out, over, out, and down, and cross your ankles. So let's do five on each leg, and I'm gonna begin with your right, and I'm gonna say out, over, out, and down. I 
I know some of us get these pains on our rear end, uh, at least I do, and I've heard other people say it. Last one on this leg. Now take your other leg and let's begin with that. Again, if you can only do it this low, go ahead and do it that low. It's, it's going to start awakening your legs in the same way that doing it higher does. And then bring your legs to the center. Um, bring your legs out. Hmm. Let's take a let's take a roll down, a wide legged roll now, where we begin with our chin and we tuck it and we roll down one vertebrae at a time, and come on down. Let's do that. All the way down. Bring your hands down to your feet and then bring them to the floor if you can. If you can't bring them to the floor, try to bring them to, the, to your knuckles. If you can't bring them there, try to bring them to your legs. However you can do it is what's right for you. Now, dip your head down too, tuck that chin. Take three good breaths here. Okay, now take your elbows, wherever your hands are, and push out those knees a little. And you can bring your hands up to do it if you want, or you can leave your hands down to do it. Whatever fits for you. Push out those knees with your elbows and take three more breaths. And get real with yourself. Push them out enough so you feel it. And then bring your hands back to your feet and walk up your body, bringing yourself up with your head being the last thing to come up. And then gently bring your legs in a little to your chair width. And let's go ahead and take our goddess pose. So point your heels in, your toes out. Sit on the edge of your chair now. It's important. Really spread those thighs and really feel that Feel that, that space, that width, that ability to be steady, straighten your back. Go ahead and put, tuck your chin gently and pull your head back just a little and then bring your arms up. When you're in this pose, take three really great breaths. Let's take one more good breath here. And bring your hands together and come back down. And bring your feet back together. And let's stand up. Now, last week, um, I wanted to show you a different way to do the tree. And I'd like to continue with that method of how we do it. I'm gonna turn my chair so that you can see me from all sides. But you can do this on, this is where we're gonna face the front of our chair. First of all, go ahead and balance yourself evenly. Then pick up, start to lean into one of your legs and pick up your other knee and gently just rest it on the edge of the chair. I'm gonna step back just a little. Gently rest it on the edge of the chair so that you know you're not going to fall anywhere. You're right in front of your chair. Then take a deep breath and raise your knee. And I'm going to count down from 15. And let's see if you can't keep it up. Go ahead. You can gently bring it down like this and touch it and then try to bring it back up. And try to stick with me for these seconds. So here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go ahead and put your leg down. What we're doing is we're learning how to stand on one leg and trust ourselves to maintain our balance. Now I'm going to do the other leg. So I'm going to gently balance myself out, lean into my other leg gently. Lift up the knee, 
put it on the chair for a second so I stabilize myself. And then I'm gonna lift it up. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And bring your leg back down. For me, that is a really good way to learn to trust my balance. And I'm hoping that's true for you. And then I also wanted to show you First, let's take our, let's just take our knee bends here. And you can do these from the side of the chair. One, I'm gonna just do five or six of them. Well, maybe I'll do eight. And then we stop. Now, take your chair, or I'm sorry, take your foot closest to the chair, bring it back. We're gonna do, to begin with, we're gonna do a, um, a lunge. So. Go ahead, your, your lunge, and you can use the back of your chair for this. And at this point, please turn your chair around so that it's facing the other direction so that we can use the back of the chair to orient ourselves for the next series of things I'm gonna do. So go ahead and move your chair. And then when you're ready, come back, step back, and bend your front knee. Here we are. You're up on your toe on your back knee. And a lunge is just strictly a runner's lunge. Come forward. You're out over your knee. Your back toe is lifted. You're stretching both legs completely. Take two more breaths. All right, now drop your foot. Turn it a little to the side. We're gonna take a warrior one from this position. So the leg is straightened out in the back. We're gonna bring our foot forward. We're gonna spread it out a little so we have lots of room. We have the back of the chair to hang on to if we need it. And then we come out and up to the warrior one. You can do it with the chair, you can do it without the chair. Take three breaths here. Take one more deep breath if you can. And then drop, drop your arms. Now this is the humble warrior. Bring it down, your body comes over your knee. You can touch your chair. Bring your other hand straight back and see if you can get your balance and breathe. And then come on back up. You can use your chair and turn to the front. Now you're actually looking at the back of the chair. This is a different way of doing warrior one and warrior two that I'm really liking. So I'm showing it again. I think we did it once before, but take your back foot, leave it pointed towards the back of the chair. You're looking at the chair now. Take your front foot, line up your heels, line up your heels. Take your front foot, spread it out a little bit further so that your knee comes over your ankle. You're still facing the chair. Here we are. But you have more, something more to relate to. Bring out your arms and look over them. This keeps your hips pointed in the right direction easier. One more breath. Drop your back arm, raise your front arm, bring it over. Reverse warrior. One more breath. Come on back and take the star. Now, let's do the other leg. So I'm gonna just bring this here and turn it this way so that you can see my other leg. I'm sorry, if it was pointed that way, I need it pointed this way, okay. Here we go. First, let's go ahead and take our five bends. Just kind of bounce on your knees and make sure they're flexible. Then step back with your foot closest to the chair. 
We're going to take the lunge first. So bend your knee, your front knee, your back, you're up on your toes, and lunge forward and breathe. You can touch this for, for balance. If you don't need to, don't bother. And come on back down. Now, drop your back foot so that it's flat. Give it just a slight turn so that you're flat and you're pointed in this direction. Our front foot is bent. You can come out a little further and take it to the side a little more so that there's room for your hips. Then come up into the warrior one where you bend, you come up, you raise yourself up and you look up at your hands and you breathe. You've just come through some very solid ground and you burrowed your way through and now you're waiting up on the top of the earth. And then you come down into the humble warrior, listening to what God is saying to you which is what the energetics of this is. Come over your knee, your hands are back. If you need this hand to touch the chair, that's okay. No harm, no foul, this is the move. And then come on back up and turn to the star. And then we're gonna take the warrior two. So keep your back foot pointed in the direction towards the, the back of the chair. Take your front foot, first of all, line up your heels as much as you can anyway, it helps. Bring your foot forward more a little, you'll know. Make sure your knee is over your ankle, your hips are pointed towards the chair. And then lift your arms and look out over your fingers. Take a few deep breaths here. Take two more breaths. This is building stability and stamina. Then drop your back arm, raise your front arm, look under your arm, keep your knee bent, your back leg stretched. This is the reverse warrior. You come on back up and take your star position. And now what I'd like you to do is I'd like us to take the warrior three. And I know not everybody can raise their legs real high, but it isn't about height. It's about being able to stand in front of something or not. <laughs> and you're gonna get yourself balanced on one leg and lift your other leg up and start to bend over or start to come down as high as you can raise your leg. And you can use your hands on the chair, raise your leg as high as you can and point your toes and look forward. Keep your elbows straight if your hands are on the chair and look forward. This is the warrior three, flying home. Take a couple more breaths. Now you could be doing that from down here, but eventually if you practice, you'll get up here and bring it down and let's do it the other side. So we're gonna first stand up straight, get our balance, lean into the leg that you did not, that was raised during the last one. Raise your other leg, start to bend forward as you raise your leg. Lift your leg only as high as you can go. You can drop to, your, to the palms on your chair. Just keep your hands and elbows straight. Keep your head looking forward and point your toes and breathe. Two more breaths. And bring your foot back down and come on back up and stand up straight. And now let's go, while we're really warmed up, 
Let's go ahead and take our downward facing dogs. So come on back up, give yourself room, spread your fingers and your hands and your thumbs. Put them on as far on the chair as you can, giving them space. And if there's room, make room for your shoulders in between them. So line up your feet, hips width apart, and then start to step back. Step back as far as you can without going up on your toes. You'll know when you can rest. Then take your head and drop it between your arms. Then drop your shoulders and straighten your legs and it raises your rear end and breathe. This is where that breath I showed you in the beginning comes in. Hear it? And then gently bring yourself forward. Let's go ahead and take the plank. Come all the way forward over your, over your wrists and over your fingers. Point your head and your chin forward and breathe. One more breath. Bring yourself back up and step out into a wide legged downward facing dog. Take your hands, still sit in the same position. Drop your head between your arms, drop your shoulders, straighten your legs, and raise your butt and breathe. Take a couple more deep breaths here. See how this stretches every part of your body? I feel it so much in my legs, my arms, my back. I mean, every part really. That's what a downward facing dog does. And then come on back up a little, just disengage. Bring your hands down, bring them in between your feet. Take a deep breath in and raise one hand to the side Raise the other hand to the side. Take a couple of these on each side. Let's take one more here and one more here. And then I'd like you to walk your hands back as far as you can. Just see how far you can bring them back. And kind of bend your knees a little and kind of bounce on them and just see how this feels to you. You're, it's really good for your joints and your nervous system. And then bring your hands back to the front, bring them out to the side. Now see if you can gently bring yourself back up your legs and take the star position. Love these moves. Let's do, um, I'm trying to work through all of our, our routine today so that we just get more solid and I quit talking as much. But what I'd like to do next is the awkward pose, which is the chair pose. So bring your knees directly together with your feet touching if you can, and then bend at the knees all the way down like you're gonna pick something up off the floor. See me picking something up, then raise yourself to there and then up. You can bring it to the waist if you want but raise it up and keep your knees bent and straighten your back as much as you can and breathe. Take a couple of breaths here. Strengthen stamina, raise yourself back up, take a slight back bend and bring yourself down. And now what I'd like us to do is come back to our chair and sit down. And before we move any further, let's go, to, go ahead and take a, um, take a forward fold. So bring your hands up over your head. We're gonna hinge at the hips. We're gonna come down over our lap and come on down, tucking our chin and relaxing, releasing.
then you can come on back up and <coughs> excuse me we have time uh, for some join openers which i really like to include too so let's take the one that says out open wait up open up and down out open up and down out open up and down take a few more of these get those joints really loose take three more so there's one there's two yay here's the third one now watch your energy and see how you feel and take a Tadasana and ground yourself. The mountain pose. Sit in the energy. Feel it bubbling through you. Take breaths. Honor yourself. And then come on back together. Um, and let's take some moves for our ankles. So what I'd like you to do is to take a pillow, make it with your fists or with your, your fingers, lift your foot up a little, let it just hang, and then point and flex, and point and flex, and point and flex, and bring it down and do the other one. So let it hang, point and flex. And go ahead and bring it back down. Now let's take our feet. Take one foot, do one foot and then the other. And what I'd like you to do is to take your foot and see on every part that you can touch on the perimeter, the outside of your foot. See how much you can touch on the rug and just go around in circles, touching every part you can. And take three of those in one direction and then reverse and go three in the other direction. And this will work our toes and our ankles. So, and then when you're done with that one, bring it back and take the other leg. Now don't let me rush you here. Go ahead and take your time with these, but go ahead and take your leg and then bring it around to the toes, to the arch, to the heel, to the side. I know the arch doesn't go down, but it's kind of fun to try to make it go down just to see how far you can touch. And then when you finish with that, go ahead and go the opposite way. Take one more in this opposite direction and then come to center. And then let's gently take our hands, making our lotus flower, and let's just take them. We don't have to go anywhere with it. Let's just take and gently rotate our wrists and our fingers Take one more and then come on back and go the opposite direction. So you start with the thumbs going backwards. Take two more and there we have it. And now what I'd like to do is um, I brought this, I brought something that I'm going to kind of semi read and kind of walk through with you. And it's a mindfulness exercise, but it's a short body scan. And I think you'll be pretty surprised and happy with the results. So what I'd like you to do first is take a deep breath in through your nose and then fully exhale with like a loud noise. So just like a big sigh and let your hands rest in your lap or on your thighs and just get comfortable. And as you begin to breathe in and out through your nose, um, let your extension, let your, let as you go in through your nose, feel your stomach expand, and as you exhale, feel it contract. And then as you're doing this and you're breathing in and out, let your attention, oh, please close your eyes. Let your attention now come to, as you breathe, okay, let me, what I'd like to do is I would like to get really clear about this because this is a wonderful exercise. So please close your eyes and just bring your awareness inside and really take some breaths and relax. 
And then as you breathe, let your thoughts fizzle away and bring your awareness to the space between your eyebrows. Relax that space. Now bring your attention to your jaw. Make sure your mouth is closed and your teeth are apart. Relax your jaw. Go ahead. We're gonna begin the body scan from the top of the head. So as I say the parts of the body, just visualize relaxation. And if you feel any tension in any parts that I say, see if you can send your breath there and release any tension or any stress that you're holding in that area. So this will be a notice a breath relax. So bring your attention to the top of your head. The forehead. The cheeks. The mouth. Bring your attention to the back of the head the tops of your shoulders, the front of your chest. Now notice the upper back, the middle back, the lower back. Notice the stomach and your ribs. Then bring your attention to your shoulder, to your shoulders, to your biceps, to your triceps. Notice the forearms and your hands. Then bring your attention to your hips. Feel yourself firmly rooted in your chair. Bring your attention to your thighs the right thigh, the left thigh, the right knee, the left knee. Notice your right shin and your right calf muscle. Then notice the left shin and the left calf muscle. Move to the right ankle, the left ankle, the right foot, the bottom of the foot, the top of the foot, the right toes. The right big toe, the second toe, the third toe, the fourth toe, and the baby toe. Then notice the left foot, the bottom of the foot, the top of the foot, and the left toes. Notice your left big toe, the second toe, the third toe, the fourth toe, and the baby toe. Now scan your body from your head to your toes and feel yourself in total relaxation. And take a moment and relax there. And then when you're ready, bring your hands together in the prayer position and notice the relaxation that this exercise gave you. And with that, open your eyes and take that relaxation with you today. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. And I really, really hope that you can take the relaxation and the movement from today and spread it throughout your week. I hope to see you next week. Namaste. Thanks for coming.